This is a continuation of um, yeah, another video that, where we were talking about working with Git and GitHub from our studio. The reason why I split is because um, it went too long and I had to finish uh, to respect other people's uh, time. But uh, here is a little bit of uh, what I, I didn't have time to cover. Uh, it's not a lot. So the this document, let me, sorry for, for making you dizzy. So this document here is the one that uh, describes what we just did all the way to the end. Now, uh, we didn't reach this, this two aspects here. And also I wanted to show you uh, what the um, uh, GitHub document sh looks like on GitHub. So um, we have just uh, created a pull request, submitted a pull request um, with changes to a file that produces a, um, a GitHub, uh, with the GitHub document R markdown file that produces an MD file as a product. And I would like to show you, you know, what the Git history looks like uh, which we did cover in the previous um, video but what we didn't cover is how to kind of filter the, the history of a project uh, at the level of a directory or a file so what we get by default when we open the the little history panel is a history of the entire project where you can see the different remotes that you have and in this case you know from the point where we created the branch every commit that we did but interesting, uh, you can, of course, select different branches here. The branch that we have now is uh, probably this one is the one that we care about. And you can also select directories. So you could filter, you know, just stuff on uh, that 00 setup um, directory. As you can see, there is less information here because we have subsetted the commits that touch that directory. And we could also do that at the level of a file. So we could say, well, changes to only the file readme. And that's that's the one commit that to touched readme or changes that touched uh, this one file here. Um, and let's choose it. And here is the commit. So that's useful because sometimes you just want to understand uh, changes that happen to a specific file. And that's a very little known feature of our studio, at least one that um, maybe not doesn't come every day. And therefore, uh, by the time you need it, you may have forgotten it. So as you can see here the, at the bottom of uh, the history, you get uh, a view of the diff. So what changed between you know the states before and after of this file, before in red and after in green. Um, and you can also, um, let's go back to all commits. Yeah, so if you click in changes, you could see the staging area. So now the staging area is clean, so there's nothing there to show. But if I click in history, I get uh, you know a view of uh, the history at, uh, and I you know remember the, the takeaway from here is that you can filter that history uh, in in a number of ways that are like, uh, useful. Uh, and finally, I wanted to show you the um, let's close this panel. I wanted to show you what the MD file looks like on GitHub. So this is the output that uh, we get uh, locally. We have this kind of source uh, code, and it, it, you know, it, locally you preview it in like an HTML um, version. But the interesting bit is that on GitHub, that MD file without actually, we could even remove this thing. It doesn't, it doesn't matter because we're not even tracking it on Git. I showed that in the previous video. Uh, but this file, when we uh, go to GitHub, and remember we can do it from, uh, using this um, icon, which is a really interesting feature of, um, of uh, our studio. We can click in the icon, view that file. So whatever file we have active now, we can, we appear here and we can view that on GitHub directly. And before I submitted the pull request, it sent me to the main repo. But now that I did submit the pull request, it sends me to my uh, fork, which is cool. I can see now the MD file. So in the um, directory that we are, um, you have, we have it working, there is the RMD. The RMD is not all that interesting because it's only the source code without the output and the MD. And the MD is a lot more interesting and that's the reason why i encourage you to use github document is because you know you get the render version something very similar to the html version that i showed you before uh, but uh, you know the you don't have to produce the html because github already renders the md as an html so that's those uh, were the things that um, i was i was missing from the previous video and i wanted to show you you know hey how 
to uh, filter the history of a, remote, of a repository by a directory and by a file and how to, um, no, well, we did cover how to view a file on GitHub, but basically how uh, an MD file renders as an HTML without you having to actually store HTML on GitHub. Because if you do, uh, it, it won't show anything useful. It will just show the source code of the HTML and not the render output. So that's it. Thank you very much. And I hope you have uh, learned something interesting here.